Contrary to most SIM systems out there, Curita doesn't invite the SOC analyst to lead searching. It's really the offenses and the logic that are in there, the ones that find things that are out of place, abnormal, risky, bad, and that invites you to take a look at them. For example, let's take a look at this uh, offense. And we can see that somebody has been using NTLM version 1. And we know that that's bad. I mean, this is not supposed to happen. We should all have NTLM version 2 and higher. But, you know, somebody for some reason has these. And Curia detects that that has been, there's been a Windows authentication using NTLM version 1, and that's bad. And we can actually see here that there were there are two events in this that contributed to this offense. In reality, there's only one. There is uh, this, this event, and we're going to look at it in, in, in a second. But this other one is just an event indicating that whoever wrote the rule wants to send a, a log saying, hey, uh, custom rule engine, just fire a rule. But this is the one that curated. So let's take a look at this in more detail. So as you can see, well, let me scroll down to the bottom to see the actual event that went through the system. And here it is, a bunch of things in there, right? A lot of information in there. And Curator's parser, or DSM, extracted some fields, like the name, E. Williamson. And there are some fields that did not have information. And they, that's why they are null here. It's a custom uh, computer name, etc. The event ID 4624, an important Windows uh, authentication event. And, you know, all sort of data, right? Obviously, when you get this event, you, you may want to see what else has Mr. E. Williamson been doing. Well, you're going to, and now you're going to be doing searches, right? So you go here into the Log Activity tab, and you can search multiple ways. The simplest one, you have Quick Filter that index everything that is going in there. I don't know whether it's a username or whatever, but I saw that E. Williamson name in there. You can actually perform that quick search and tell the system in terms of time, what, how back do you want to go? Let me go back 12 hours, for example. And you see how fast this is. Boom! You get all those events in there. They came from these uh, VPN type of things, and these are Windows event. And uh, you can see that this one contributed to an offense, and that's the one we saw. The, we saw all that uh, data in there. But you can search in basically anywhere you want. You don't have to just do quick filters. In fact, let's actually search looking for specific items inside. So if we go here and say add filter, we can take any one of the custom properties in Curita that had been part of the parsers, and there are gazillions of them, you know. <laughs> and for example, remember that we saw that um, event ID from Microsoft Authentication, 42. 40, what it was, uh, 4624. So we can actually go ahead and say, it, search for event ID, right? Equals any, and, and this, every custom property will have the different logic that it supports, right? So in this one, this is, this one is fine. And then we put E Williamson. Oh, actually uh, 46, that was a user ID. If, if I were putting a user ID, here, that the username, that would be the one. And actually, let's do that after this one. So, but in here, we're going to search for 4624. And we add that. Actually, click here to add that. Add filter. And again, we go back in time. You know, let's go back those uh, 12 hours. And see all the events that we had there. Right? There are not only from Mr. Williamson, but there's, there are others, at least and, and any uh, one other... Uh, user logging in there. Uh, and you can combine all those criteria, so you don't have to have just one. You, you can, you know, uh, keep adding them. And then when you are ready and you have your search, you can actually click here, save, save criteria, and you have that uh, search uh, saved. And then it will show up when you look at your quick searches or when you are, uh, if you want to modify that search later. And there's yet one more way. I mean, I show you searching for parameters using the quick filter. And there's another one uh, that you can search that is good when you do things in polls. Everything in, in, in the good looking polls is nothing more than a search. It, it looks good. There we go. But uh, all in, uh, in polls, it's nothing more than a search that is composed of this statement. And I say, well, what is that, Jose? That's SQL. I don't know, SQL? 
uh, and but that's that one piece and then there is the map the, the, the whether you want to have it on a map or in a bar chart or pie chart or time series whatever is it that you, that you want it and then that search would look as nice as this one how do I get that done what whatever search that you do that you put all the parameters like I have, I have all these filters in here and you can put as many as you want and you can select the time frame you know from what time to from what day and time so and then you click here and then you you go back in time or you go to that specific period of time when you have all your search built and you have saved it uh, now let's take a look at what you can do when you click on edit search when you have saved your search obviously they are going to show here on available searches when you click on any one of them I'm clicking on one any one randomly here notice that you have this show AQL well, this guy builds an AQL search for you, so you can actually copy into the clipboard and use it in a program that uses API to talk to Curator to make searches, or for those polls dashboards I'll show you in a minute. And that's a quick rundown on Curator searches.